this week's product spotlight, we're bringing you a couple more race-inspired products from the innovators at Driven Racing. Now, mostly known for their sprockets and chains, Driven Racing has been based out of Chatsworth, California since 2005. Sprockets and chains quickly evolved into an entire line of technologically advanced products with a strong emphasis on design, innovation, and attention to detail. All three of these traits are prominently displayed in the products that they produce today. Driven is about the details and the quality of their Made in America products, which is what makes their sprocket nuts and captive wheel spacers better than any other that you'll find on the market today. Quality and strength is a term that gets thrown around a lot. There are different grades of aluminum and each has a different function and purpose. One grade might have more resistance to corrosion, another is easier to weld, and the highest grades are often used on aircraft that goes into space. A lower 1100 grade aluminum is less expensive because other materials are mixed in with the aluminum that weakens the metal, which is why it's important that you know what grade of aluminum is being used on the parts that you put on your motorcycle. Different grades of high strength aluminum alloy have been developed for use in different industries. 1100 is used for general fabrication. 2011 is general machining. 3003 is food and chemical equipment. 5052 is a marine application because it has an excellent corrosion resistance. 6063 is architectural applications and 7075 is made for aerospace applications and that's what you're getting in these sprocket nuts. In addition to the aerospace alloy, you also get a nice little reminder printed on each nut and that's that you should torque these down to 29 foot pounds of pressure. Sprocket nut kits come in this convenient little container with four, five, or six nuts and five brilliant anodized color options. You can pick these up for under $40. Next up are the captive wheel spacers. If you've ever removed your wheel and lost a wheel spacer, then picking up a set of these spacers should be the easiest decision you've ever made. Driven Racing spacers are anodized for superior corrosion resistance and were made with the track day enthusiast and racer in mind. These spacers will be held in place by a dust seal and like all of Driven's products, they're made in the USA. This is one of those products that you'll wonder how you ever lived without it, and for around that $75 mark, it's worth avoiding the frustration and headache that comes with those OEM spacers. So now you've seen Driven's racing sprocket nuts and captive wheel spacers, and these products only scratch the surface. To check out their entire line, go to DrivenRacing.com, and that's this week's Product Spotlight. From the motorcyclist to the scooter rider, from the short to the long journeys, when it comes to taking cargo along for the ride, only one company can provide the security, ease of use, and elegance of Italian styling, and that company is GV. Welcome back to another product spotlight from GV USA. Today we're talking about the holy grail of adventure touring side cases, the Trekker Series Dolomiti. GV has ventured into the adventure touring market with the new Trekker Series. These aluminum polypropylene cases utilize the patented GV mono key system, giving you a lockable, waterproof, and easily removable case option. What you're looking at here is the 36 liter box, but new to the GV Trekker Dolomini family are the 30 and 40 liter top cases, so keep an eye out for those. This 36 liter box is 22 inches long, 10 inches wide, and 16 inches tall. These fully aluminum boxes are light, rugged, impact resistant, and fully lockable with an automotive derived security lock. These cases are ready to go anywhere with the state-of-the-art water and dust seals and utilize a full and partial lid opening system. The integrated handle and strap loops make these cases easy to carry and even easier to add additional cargo. If you've had GV cases in the past, you're probably already set up with the PL or PLR holders, which is what you'll need for these Trekker Dolomini cases. You may notice that the new version of this Trekker Dolomini side case is rounder with a more streamlined design compared to the traditional boxy aluminum cases. The purpose of this design is to allow for a safer profile when they come into touch with the rider. The Dolomini cases were developed to offer a lighter and more rugged alternative to the existing line of traditional thermoplastic injected top and side cases. This will give GV users around the world the opportunity to still use their existing PL and PLR mounts. You could pick up a pair of these Trekker Dolomini side cases for around that 750 mark. 
If this is the GVUSA product that you've been looking for, then you can order yours right now. Simply click on that buy now button in the lower right hand corner and that'll get you started. If you need more information on this GVUSA product or other products like this one, please visit us at gvusa.com. While you're there, you can check out the GV options that we have available for your motorcycle and what they'll look like once they're installed. Just look for the virtual bike builder tab in the upper right hand corner. Choose your motorcycle and the products you're interested in and we'll show you what it's gonna look like on your motorcycle. When you're looking for the absolute best in adventure touring parts and accessories, you'll find them right here at GV USA. In this week's Product Spotlight, we're out here underneath the Next Moto Champion tent taking a look at two products from Capit. Now, you may know Capit from being a tire warmer used by MotoGP riders like Jorge Lorenzo and Valentino Rossi, but they make a number of other things heated clothing, rim racks, motorcycle covers, and helmet dryers, which are the two things that we're looking at today. Sometimes it's the little things that make a product easier and more enjoyable to live with. In this case of the motorcycle cover, it's this nice carrying bag that'll keep your cover clean and organized. This is the exact same cover that MotoGP teams trust to protect their motorcycles. It's 100% polyester, internally scratch proof and resistant to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. The exterior has an oil repellent treatment that is designed to let the rain just roll right off. When it comes to the sun, the Capit cover will protect your motorcycle from UVA, which means over time your bike won't fade or change colors due to the sun. The Capit cover comes in six different colors. It's customizable, you can get a logo on each side and the front and the back. As I mentioned earlier, it's 100% Italian made and it comes with a three year warranty. A bike cover is a must have for track days to keep it dry and reduce the chance of someone with sticky fingers grabbing a GoPro or a lap timer off your motorcycle. It's also a great way to keep your bike clean and reduce the chance of it getting scratched while in your garage, which is why you might want to think of this cover as a safe investment at around that $100 mark. Another great track day item from Capit is their helmet dryer. Whether it's sweat or rain, a wet helmet is the last thing you want to put on. A wet helmet can harbor bacteria, fungus, and produce a smell that you won't want to be stuck with on your next ride, which is why Capit has made this helmet dryer. A wet or damp helmet can also add fogging issues with your visor. This Capit helmet dryer is built with an aluminum base and a hard plastic exterior shell. The interior holds a fan and heating element. These are available in black and silver at both 220 and 110 volts. This helmet dryer is designed for both street and off-road helmets and the fan is so quiet that you can barely hear it. Capit gives you the option to just circulate room temperature air with the blue button or add the heating element by switching on this red button. Within 15 minutes, you have a dry helmet that's ready to get you back on the track, or you have a dry helmet that's ready to be put away for your next ride. So at 199, that helmet dryer is not just an investment in comfort, it's also an investment in the lifespan of your helmet, the same way as the bike cover is another investment in your motorcycle. So we took a look at the bike cover from Capit and the helmet dryer. We found them at bikers-lab.com and you can too. And that's this week's Product Spotlight.
Woodcraft-CFM.com is your made-in-the-USA aftermarket parts specialist when it comes to rear sets, clip-ons, sliders, engine covers, and more. Woodcraft is the exclusive distributor of brands like Armor Bodies, Cycle Mount, and new for 2016, Hindle Exhaust, a combination of power, quality, and value that you won't find anywhere else. Find them all at woodcraft-cfm.com. This week's Product Spotlight, we're looking at an upgrade that you may or may have not made to your motorcycle. This upgrade involves comfort and if you're racing, performance. We're talking about the GP V1 seat from Saddleman. Check this out. Now I've been to the Saddleman factory in Rancho Dominguez, California, and I've seen just exactly how these handcrafted seats come together. Saddleman's business has been built on comfort and performance that comes from their Saddle Gel and Gel Core technology based seats, and this GP V1 is their most advanced street bike seat to date. The Saddle Gel isolates engine and road vibration, a common cause of rider fatigue. Saddle gel is a molded solid with fluid-like properties that will not slide to one side or move around in your seat like air or water in a plastic bag. Instead, the proprietary design eliminates pressure points at the hip bones and tailbone by evenly distributing your weight across the surface of the seat. The saddle gel is placed into a seat mold that is specifically made for each motorcycle model. From there, the saddle gel inserts are covered with a progressive density foam. Before the cover goes on, it looks like this. And with the cover on, it has a modern, sleek, purpose-built design. You'll notice that this material is smooth, and then on the sides, you have some serious grip. This grip will help you grip the bike better with your legs and make it easier to pull over from one turn to the next. You can see on the underside of this seat that it's constructed of heavy-duty and high-quality materials and as many rivets as you can possibly fit. I've used Saddleman seats for years, and I can tell you that it could be the most improvement in comfort for the least amount of money. And on those long days, you're seriously gonna appreciate it. Now, you can pick one of these up for about 200 bucks and it even comes with a matching cover for your rear seat. So that's the gel infused Max Comfort GP V1 seat from Saddleman Seats. And that's this week's Product Spotlight. In this week's product spotlight, we're looking at a number of different products from K&N Engineering. Now you probably know K&N because they've been making high flow air filters out of Riverside, California since 1969. K&N high flow air filters use multiple layers of cotton gauze placed between bonded aluminum wire screens. Within each air filter, thousands of microscopic cotton threads absorb specifically formulated air filter oil to create a powerful filtering media. This media helps protect your engine from harmful contaminants and debris while increasing the airflow. This can allow your engine to breathe easier, increasing both horsepower and acceleration. k also delivers premium oil filters built to withstand the high demands of racing conditions. These filters are designed with a high flow synthetic media that is engineered to provide high flow rates and outstanding filtration. They're ideal use with any premium synthetic and traditional oils. In order to ease maintenance, a 17 millimeter nut has been welded to the top to allow for easy removal. A heavy duty canister provides high burst strength while also adding extra protection from debris and rocks in that off-road environment. Just goes to prove that the people at K&N are hardcore race enthusiasts and motorcycle riders because in addition to the 17 millimeter nut that they welded on top, they also pre-drilled this for safety wire. This is one of K&N's race spec high flow air filters and they are purposely built air filters for popular sport bike applications. There's fewer pleats and two ply cotton media for increased airflow over the standard K&N high flow air filters. Of course, these are designed to increase horsepower and acceleration at the racetrack. They're washable, reusable, and it will fit directly inside your stock air box. Now, for these specific race-built air filters, 
fuel modification management will be necessary. These are designed for closed course competition use only. While you're at it, go ahead and order a can of k ns air filter oil. It's specifically made and designed for cleaning and re-oiling k n cotton gauze air filters. This will restore your airflow efficiency so that your air filter performs virtually like new. And in addition to that, look for the Power Clean degreaser. Power Clean is the only cleaner recommended for cleaning k n filter elements. The high performance cleaner and degreaser is also used to remove oil, lubricants, grease, grime, and other deposits from most surfaces. Now like death and taxes changing our oil and air filters, it's just something that we're never going to get away from. So save yourself some time and money and order these things in bulk. While you're at it, add the oil, add the degreaser, it's going to make the whole project that much easier. We've got products from k n Engineering manufactured out of Riverside, California, and that's this week's Product Spotlight. This week's product spotlight will have you asking the question, why is John wearing his dollar store sunglasses inside this dimly lit studio? The answer to that question is because I'm standing next to the high viz neon green trooper backpack from American Cargo. You or someone you know may have been rear ended while on their motorcycle by a driver who claimed that they never even saw them. The high viz trooper backpack is specifically designed to avoid those types of accidents. The Trooper was designed for, well, anything and everything you can imagine. It's big, it's tough, it's perfect. Of course, it includes the interior and exterior pockets, tie downs and expected fittings and adjustments. There's a special laptop and tablet pocket and it's hydration compatible. Not to mention a place for first aid, a place for goggles and the ability to secure your helmet on the back. The one thing the Trooper is really known for is its butterfly harness. This is the quintessential element in Americans Cargo's approach to comfort and stability. Incorporating multiple fit and fitting adjustments and increasing the surface area, these straps are designed to work around your equipment and the way you move. Your chest, arms, shoulders, and core were carefully considered. The butterfly harness creates the functionality you need for the riding experience you want. There's a couple other features to mention. There's the retroflect material that makes you more visible at night. And I already mentioned that they make it easier to carry your helmet around instead of leaving on your motorcycle with a net that comes right out of this small compartment and attaches these metal D-ring hooks. There's storage specific for your laptop and space allowed for tools that will come in handy when you're out on the road. You know, when OGO started making women's purses and golf bags, I was afraid that we wouldn't have a luggage company for motorcycle riders. Lucky for us, American Cargo stepped in to focus on riders and developing the functionality and look specifically for what we need. Now the Trooper backpack is one of a number of really cool either backpack, hydration packs, or even pieces of luggage uh, from American Cargo. Um, you can pick these up for around $180 to $210. You can find more information on it at AmericanCargoWithAK.com. And that's this week's Product Spotlight. Performance air intake systems. For more airflow in, more horsepower out. Guaranteed. Hi, I'm David Fisher. Briar Bauman. Brandon Robinson. Brad Baker. Corey Texter. And Kenny Coolbath. Dan Bromley. Shana Texter, and I run Evans Coolant. What I like most about Evans Coolant is I never have to worry about the bike overheating, so we're on, on the line. Uh, don't have to worry about it overheating. In all my years of racing, I've never found a product that gives me the peace of mind to do what it's going to do like Evans. I run Evans Coolant. Evans Coolant. Evans Coolant. Evans Coolant. Cool. Gotta have the best to go fast. So, how fast does this thing go? Depends on who's in the sidecar. It's pretty comfortable in there. Let's go for a ride. All right. Definitely misread this one. Can I tow motorcycle? Great rates for great rides. Swing in a minute.
this week's Product Spotlight, we're doing something that's a little bit different from what you're used to seeing on the next Moto Champion talk show. We're looking at racing number pendants from Tom Duma Fine Jewelers. And whether you're a racer or you know a racer, you're gonna wanna take a look at these. If Tom Duma Fine Jewelers sounds familiar, it should. Tom was former GNC number 26 and 62. He's been the official jeweler of the AMA Pro Flat Track Series for three years running, and he is famous for making that championship ring that they give away at the end of the year. Now, I didn't even know these things existed until I started to see them pop up at AMA Pro Flat Track events. It's a great way to show your support for the sport and your rider. Each piece is crafted by the master goldsmith at Tom Duma Jewelers in Ohio. The process starts by you sending in a picture of your number so they can match the font and style. Here's a couple styles that you might like. This is the standard ladies racing number pendant. Flat trackers will notice that you can include a letter next to the number. This is on an 18 inch sparkling chain and the number ends up being a half inch by a half inch. If you want to improve on a ladies racing number, you can add a diamond to it. This one has a natural round brilliant cut diamond bezel and it's only $100 more than the standard ladies pendant. This men's racing number pendant is on a 20 inch box chain and depending on the number, it'll be about an inch wide and half an inch tall. If you're a Nikki Hayden fan or a fan of any rider with any number, they've got you covered. These designs are made in sterling silver, but it can be any precious metal you want. These range from 249 to 349. So for these pieces or more in that racer series, then you go to tdfj.com, that's Tom Duma, fine jewelry, Dot com and you're gonna see more from that racer series. He also has other brands like Takori, uh, David Yuma, and Rolex. So you're gonna wanna check those out. That's tdfj.com. And that's this week's Product Spotlight. In this week's Product Spotlight, we're looking at a crucial piece of track day equipment. We're talking about bodywork, more specifically, Armor Bodies Bodywork from woodcraft-cfm.com. This week, we were fortunate to get a little help from Brian Sexton. We joined him in his garage as he started to prepare for his first track day of the year by installing a new set of Armor Bodies Bodywork on his Kawasaki ZX-10. For starters, Brian removed the factory lower, mirrors, upper, windscreen, and headlight. Once those were removed, he went on to work on the tail section and front fender. Now that we've removed the factory plastics, we're ready for the Armor Bodies bodywork. The Armor Bodies kit comes with four pieces, the upper, lower, tail, and front fender. It comes out of the box in gray primer and the bodywork is already finished. You won't find air pocket bubbles or serious imperfections that you may find on other bodywork. All you have to do is drill holes, scuff it with sandpaper, and it's ready to paint. This is a sturdy, thick fiberglass, but the resin and gel coat they use is super flexible. When it takes an impact, it has the ability to absorb or deflect the impact instead of break. But before it gets painted, Brian's going to pre-fit the bodywork to ensure that all the pieces fit properly. If there's a problem with fitment, it's easier to address before it gets painted instead of after. This kit comes with the D-ring Zeus fasteners and rubber weld nuts for the windshield. Once you know it's a good fit, you can send it off to get painted. When it comes back, you want to install the Zeus clips. The contact and mounting points which separates armor bodies from the competition. These points are made with a carbon Kevlar weave that is sandwiched and layered into the fiberglass. As anyone who has crashed knows, this is where the bodywork breaks and that's why they spent the extra time, effort, and materials to reinforce these areas. You could go down in your first session, bust up your bodywork and be done for the day, or have a stronger set of armor bodies that can take a low side hit and not fall apart. Here's a look at the finished product and a bike that's now ready for the track. Big thanks to Brian Sexton for helping us out with the install on this bodywork. And for more on Armor Bodies Bodywork, you can go to woodcraft-cfm.com. And that's this week's Product Spotlight.
Weaving, weaving, criminal act. Look at you, Unbelievable. The front brake. That's the front brake. You saw his front brake slammed on.